Hello everyone, today we're going to make a Batman Play-Doh costume for our cute little Baymax from the new Big Hero 6 movie. And to make our Batman Play-Doh costume, all you'll need is some yellow Play-Doh and black Play-Doh, and our black Play-Doh has some pretty glittery stuff in it so it'll look really cool. And you'll also need a pretty good thin Play-Doh knife and a rolling pin to flatten them out. And first we're going to start with our black Play-Doh, and first we got to try to get it all out of here. And now I'm just going to gather this big mess of Play-Doh, roll it into a nice ball, and flatten it out a little bit to make a nice little round shape. And now I'll take the rolling pin and I'm going to roll it out nice and flat and evenly to make a nice sheet for me to cut out of. Alright, and now that I have a nice flat Play-Doh surface, I'm going to take this knife and cut a shape into a cape. And first I'm going to start with the top and I'm going to cut kind of like straps here so it can wrap around the neck. And then I'm going to cut diagonally and across the bottom so it looks like a cool little cape. Alright, now I'm going to take the cape and I'm going to attach it to his back and try to make it stick. And I'm going to press the straps around his neck and mold it so that it can stay. And after I've molded it should kind of look like this, nice and sturdy. And I'm just going to flatten it out, make it really good, stay in there, beautiful. Alright, now let's make his Batman mask. Alright, and for the mask we need another flat sheet of Play-Doh, and I'm going to cut out um, the most perfect circle that you can try. I mean, I'm pretty lucky that I got such a nice circle like this, but um, it's alright if it's just, because we're just going to mold it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And now we're going to take the circle piece and just put it right over his face. And what we're going to do is try to mold it around his face and press it down. There's going to be some creases because it's a perfect circle, but that's alright. We just flatten them out, mold it, mold it, and voila. Alright, and now for the eyes, I'm just going to cut out um, kind of like a long eye hole right here in the front so he can see. And luckily he has some pretty easy little... Uh, robot eyes cool and then I'm gonna add a little uh, mouth even though he doesn't really have a mouth but Batman does so I just want to make it look cool and now that the mask is molded we got to add the little bat ears so I just made little teardrop shapes with the play-doh um, little pieces and then I kind of just stick them to the side there and um, <laughs> they kind of just look like they almost look like cat ears but they're supposed to be little bat ears And here is our Baymax Batman mask. Isn't he cool? Alright, now let's do the fun part, the bat symbol. Alright, the bat symbol is going to be kind of tricky. You need the very flat, pretty thin piece of Play-Doh. And what I did is did little markings at the tips of the points of the bat symbol. And what I do is kind of like connect the dots. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. Um, it is pretty tricky though, so you just gotta follow the lines and connect all the dots and just make the curves and uh, once you make those dots um, in order it should be pretty easy and here is our bat symbol I am actually very surprised how well this turned out <laughs> Now we've got to put the yellow oval background beneath the bat symbol to make it look, you know, really official. Now I've just got to take our yellow play-doh and once again just roll it all out till it's a nice thin piece for me to carve out of. And now what you want to do is lay our black Batman symbol on top of the yellow Play-Doh. And what we're going to do is I'm going to finally um, draw out where I'm going to do the oval. And then I'll just cut it out around it. And that will be the easiest way to do it. And voila, there is our bat symbol. Looks pretty cool to me. I'm surprised how well that turned out. And now for the slightly tricky part, I've got to make this stick onto his chest here, and, and uh, he has a very slippery plastic surface, so it's kind of, I gotta like mold the edges to it, so I kind of gotta like flatten it out here. And look how cool he looks. That symbol really adds the best touch to it. 
All right, he is looking really cool. Um, but you know, I think he's missing a little something. Um, maybe some black, cool Batman gloves. All right, we just gotta take our black Play-Doh, make a nice, smooth, little round, flat shape to it, and I've gotta roll it out really, really thin, but not too thin. And then once we have that nice sheet of Play-Doh, um, once again, just cut um, circles. They don't have to be perfect, but just a couple circles. All right, and with these gloves, we're gonna do the same kind of thing that we did with his head, and we're gonna take the circle and just kind of mold it around his hand, and there's gonna be creases again. Just mold them out, flatten it all out so that it molds perfectly to his hand, just like a glove. And now that we have the glove perfectly molded to his hand, I'm going to take a little straight edge of some kind and just kind of straighten out the line on the bottom because I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I'm just gonna make it look really nice. And after finishing up the gloves, this is our Batman Baymax. Isn't he cool? Batman, he's the Batman Baymax spinning on a turntable. Isn't he so amazing? Um, alright, I'll stop singing now. Um, if you guys like this video, please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, um, tell me what you want to be for Halloween this year. Maybe you can make a real-life human-sized Play-Doh costume. That'd be cool.